Welcome to Geek Speak. Why are we wearing our jackets, you may ask? Because for once we are leaving the apartment and going out into the real world to show you the top five most unique, geekiest places in Boston. Are you ready? For an epic adventure? Let's go! Night Moves, a board game cafe down by Clover's Corner. Pay once and play all night long. What are we gonna play? Dinosaur Island? Two to five plans, I don't know. What are we gonna play? This place is everything. Board Game Central. So we need to pick something. I do have Katan. Wait, well, what? It's just Katan. Yeah. We do have it. I've always wanted to learn how to play that game. Wait, you want to play Uno? Yeah. With all these games, you want to play Uno? I'm a very simplistic man. Okay, we have a Star Wars game. I know. We have multiple Star Wars games. We've been playing this Star Wars game. I'm not actually sure if we're playing correctly, but that's what you do at Night Moves. You try and figure out how to play games. And I'm dying terribly. Those are all my damages. Phasma's dead. Oh, well, I'm down one character. And then... The point of this game is to roll dice and give damage to people. And I'm losing terribly, apparently. So, game over. I lost. Lights. He won. Lights up, baby. We did pretty good. I learned how to play the game. And what happened? I lost. Of course. Hey, you were so close to dying. That's so You close. were very, very close I was close Glenn to close to dying. I was Glenn close to dying. <laughs> Uh, uh maybe this <laughs> That's why he cries, cause look at look at this look at this That's my prediction for episode nine. He dies. This game really, really confused us. I love night moves, but some other games are confusing when you're really lazy. Again, I'm telling you we should just do Uno. Just just something sweet. Night moves is nerdy enough where we can do something better than Uno. We gave up on the complicated games and are now playing Uno. Yeah, Sick, sweet, and simple, and to the point. I know we're better than this, but I gave in to him. All right, we're playing a new version that I've never played before, apparently. Stats on, stats on, stats on, stats on, stats He is very weird. Versus an 80s-themed arcade bar in the Park Street area. Once again, you only need to pay once for free play of all video games. 80s video games for days at the 80s arcade. Or even Cartoons of the Galaxy. You can have it all. Get 80s games and Harry Potter. It is my favorite one. And even better is not just video games. There's food. We're getting dinner here tonight. I'm starving. Oh! El Castro's favorite video game. Who are you playing? I'm playing Pac-Man and I'm gonna die. Did you lose? Arcade, but a wonderful place to eat. Look at my cheesy pots. <laughs> and Jalen got chicken fingers. Put and my cheesy not, pots. And it's not on a plate, it's on a frisbee. A frisbee? This place is definitely 80s unique. Not just video games, but cheesy pots. <laughs> and a bar, but I'm sadly just drinking Sprite today. And I. And cheesy pots from a frisbee. And I just don't want to, didn't want to get a Hennessy right now. Yes, one day you guys will see Jalen on Hennessy. It'll be hilarious. Hennessy, tequila, vodka. That'll be the day I take you guys to Geek Trivia. <laughs> which we haven't been to in a long time. Because we've been filming for YouTube. Now eat your chicken fingers. Oh look, it's good. You're under arrest. We also got Mario. Being painted by Mickey Mouse. And more artwork. And he's playing pinball again. Kamikaze, located near the Davis stop on the red line. Kamikaze is a comic shop with not just comics, but vintage and modern games, toys, and anything geeky you can think of. Now we got comics for days, depending on what you want. Lots of superheroes. Figurines for days. You think this is a lot of figurines? Come over here. And the really fancy ones. Lucky. 
two gods of magic and everything. Where's Alyssa when you need her? I know. They have a Loki and a Kylo. And then they have a Leia. Well, I always get distracted by those two. <gasps> There's a group back there! Except he's $224. Oh. These are the cheaper ones that I can actually afford. X-Men. Got everything you could ever imagine. Adjust the Panic of Skywalker. It's like a side event. The Death Eater Mask. Yoda alarm clock. Because I'm obsessed with this purse. I need this scarf. Perfect look for me. Oh, I have that pop. Got more pops. I could live on pops. You have an FTT. Jurassic Park lunchbox. Found my child's future. My child that I don't have. That's Socket's body, but that's Aang's head. We got dinos for days. Yeah, for nothing. I want it all. Glasses for days. Collectibles for days. Harry Potter's castles, best for Halloween specials. Like you don't even need to go inside to see the amazing stuff. Oh my goodness, this store is amazing. Like look, how to speak droid. Anime Zaka down in the back bay, filled with all your anime collectible dreams. Go select my purchase. Questions? My favorite. Find those Dragon Balls. All the sports anime. Death Note. Yes. Death Note. You can build your own Gundam. So, if anyone's a fan of catching Gundam, they're not even the biggest anime fan, and I still find this store amazing. Toto display is not for sale. But I want it. Well, I'm afraid you can't get it. Sleep mask. Sleep mask. So awesome, Jalen actually got something. It is a Jojo Bazaar necklace. Are you actually gonna wear it? Yes, I am. The Fairy Shop, just down the street from Anime Zaka. Your one-stop shop for everything Harry Potter that you will ever need. You want wizard chest? $99. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, that's a really nice version. Buttons for days. A bunch of yeah. My favorite character ever comes to this town. They're really, really tiny bubbles. He's got a sock. You can get everything. Server Oh, it's made with amazing. We got Venus glasses. We need to play Harry Potter Uno. Time Turner. Timmy Turner? No, Time Turner. Mm -hmm. What else are you finding? So can we pass this card back? I love this one, guys. Scarves. Yeah. It's the Elder Wand. Can I just buy this whole store? What, am I supposed to be responsible for buying this whole store? Yes. So that was it. The top five geekiest places in Boston. I hope you go and visit them yourselves one day. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. Well, Boston is pretty geeky. And I hope you see them yourselves and have fun at these places in the future.